Okay, we're about to take this beautiful 1968 911 out on the test drive, do the cold start, show you it going up and down the roads, show you all the gauges, the ins and outs of the car. But first off, I'd love to show you the paperwork. So we've got the Cardex showing that the car was ordered 1116 of 67. It actually built an 1117 of 67. Now, if I'm saying something wrong, I'm not claiming to be the ultimate authority on short wheelbase Porsches, but here's the Cardex. Now, it was, it was ordered by Major Arthur Blissett Jr. He was in the U.S. military, but if you look up this APO, it does show European Armed Forces. So he ordered the car. It's in blue orange, which is blood orange, translated. But here, the code 6809 in the U.S. is tangerine. Now, this is a U.S. car. So what's really neat is, is he picked the car up at the factory. So you've got your factory book, your Porsche stamp, chassis number, engine number, Arthur Blissett, and you've got his APO. Now, he drove the car a very short 574 miles, and then on the 23rd of 67, he took it into Otto Glockler and had it serviced. Now, the next thing that happened was a day after that, at 11 67, he bought a AMFM radio, which is not in the car now, it's got a Pioneer in it, so that's one of only two things that I know of the car that's not actually correct. The car was then exported to Reno, Nevada. He kept the car from 1967 to 1977, and then it was sold to Miss Linda Lewis, who was somewhat of a famous icon in Las Vegas. So the car went from Reno to Las Vegas, and I have every registration receipt from 77 up until 1989 when she stopped driving the car. Now she bought the car, the car had in the mid to high 60s on the miles, like she said, 65 or 66,000 miles. Her first service when she got it had 69,000 miles on it. So the last service she did on the car, it had 71,235 miles on it in around 1989, I believe. No, it was 1987, I'm sorry. So she owned the car from 77 to 87 and then took the car off the road. So the car sat in a garage in Las Vegas where we picked it up for 33 years. What was really neat about this garage, there were no windows in the door. This car literally has not seen the light of day. Now there's a couple other things over here that's really neat. Original jack, tool, for you old school guys. The old oil can, you stuck it in the can and actually put oil in, really neat. The original tool kit, which I have not cleaned at all. Super nice. Now some of the stuff I'm talking about, we have done our very, very best to show you everything about this car. There's 309 pictures that you can view. But let's go look at the car itself. Uh, I'm gonna show you the only, other, the only other thing that I know that's not right on the car right now is it's missing the spare. Now we took all four hubcaps off, took the wheels off, put it up in the air to photograph everything on the car. So all four wheels that are on the car right now are date coded 10 of 67. The tires on the car are date coded 1977. So Miss Lewis stated that this car is exactly how she bought it in 1977, except for she added roughly four or 5,000 miles and had minor services done to it four times, which we have those records. So now the car is showing 71,250 miles. The reason I left the original tires on there is just to prove the story. If somebody freaks out, this car is shipping somewhere, you want us to replace the tires, we will. But also these wheels are in the best condition I have ever, ever seen. Even when they come off the car, the paint on the inside is just absolutely phenomenal. Now, some of the rare options of these cars is a sunroof. Of course, we already stated that it's tangerine. These headrests are really, really neat. So these headrests are the same as the 356's got, but the last year you could get these headrests was in 68, which of course is the last year for a short wheelbase car. Uh, the interior is totally original. They've been untouched. Gauges are beautiful. Steering wheel is extremely nice. Carpets are nice. You'll see in the 309 pictures about how nice this car is. All the gauges are working properly. And again, the original radio is not in it, but it's sitting over there. So, so when we got this car, we brought it, and the first thing we did was we took the gas tank out, sent it out, had it cleaned, had it lined on the end time, blew all the fuel lines out, replaced the ones that needed to be replaced, completely rebuilt the carburetors, then we fired the car up. It did start up, and it actually ran well. We pulled it up and around the building a couple times, brought it back in, and it had a ton of oil leaks, which most Porsches do. And so you can understand we went ahead and dropped the motor. Now I have got a 
guy in Dallas who I actually consider a friend of mine that I've known for over 35 years. He's an air pool pour specialist who is retired but has a full machine shop in his garage. He entrusted him with the motor. He tore it all the way down, put a factory set of gaskets back in it. We went ahead and did the heads and put it back on. And you, you'll see now that it runs beautifully and it's nicely detailed. Now, this decal here we left on here is from Las Vegas, Nevada, which you're going to see on one of those receipts. It was Porsche House which is the only place I know of that actually serviced this car. All the jams in this car are original paint. These are the original decals. This door jam here, you can look inside of it. You can see your paint tag code. All these jams, original paint, absolutely beautiful. The reason I'm stating that is she believed this car was original paint. I sent two inspectors out to look at this car before I bought it because I'm fortunate I had time to go out there and look at it. Well, I believe it's headed exterior paint only and I believe that the reason that was done is that it was serviced, tires, and probably exterior repaint before he sold it to her. She always thought it was original paint. It's not, but all the jams are done. I'll tell you what, it's to hold up this well since 1977. I believe it was probably painted in 76. It's pretty phenomenal. Let's look at the hood. No tape lines around the tag. One of the nicest tags I've ever seen. This is something you rarely see here too on the original carpet set. This, the battery splash pad is still here. Now I want you to see how crisp the number is in the floor. It is just incredible. Hopefully, hopefully we can get a good focus on that so you guys can see that. Just a super nice car. Panel gaps are really, really nice on the car. The, the struts front and rear are working. They Look at the CAD plating on this. Just an exceptional car. Original weather strips all around. Look at the fit of that. The doors open and shut fantastic. Again, the, this jam right here is all original paint. Just stunning. Now the dash is not perfect. It is nice though, for what it is. So if you were gonna if you were gonna pick this interior, this is probably what I'd pick would be the dash. We've got a wave where the speaker is. We do have a crack. And the Pioneer radio, which again, we got the original radio in here. The centerpiece and the knob's got a little bit of crazing on it, but um, I'll tell you what, for a original car, it's just phenomenal. The headliner's just beautiful. Now, enough of that. You've seen the paperwork. Hopefully, you'll look at the 309 pictures. I'm going to say that this chassis on this car, the undercarriage of this car, you hear the little Porsche Tang, so that's perfect, is absolutely amazing. Please take a few minutes, look at all the pictures, look at the chassis, look how clean it is. Totally rust free, just absolutely insane. Let's take this beauty for a ride. mention though but this is a uh, five-speed car and again these tires are date coded 1977 I believe so but I left them on there just to prove the lineage of the car the engine runs fantastic drive straight steering wheel straight all the gauges are working with the exception of the clock there's something out on this car when I first looked at it pictures was it had the uh, side marker lights on them the front and back which I think was just for the Euro car so this is a US car it is in miles per hour it is a US engine transmission number which yes they are matching numbers and then there was only 473 of these coupes built and again this is a sunroof car in tangerine 
rust free, two owners, 71,000 miles. To me, this has got to be not only just an extremely desirable short wheelbase 911, but certainly a very desirable 1968. And then, then another very significant thing on this car, which I think is significant, is this car was built early enough, 11 of 67, that it's got the very desirable aluminum case motor versus the magnesium case. So this car really checks all the boxes and it does drive good. I think this is going to be an asset to somebody's collection. I think it's nice stuff that it should go in a collection. I'm taking a few curves through here. I'm not going to go crazy because of the tires, but it really drives crazy, driving straight. What a cool car. I'm going to miss this one. Clutch is good. We redid the brakes. Actually, the clutch is new. When we had the motor out, we went up and put a clutch kit in it, which is in the listing in the description. So hopefully I haven't missed anything. And there's the drive. It's just absolutely fantastic. I hope you all have a great day, and I really do think this is a special car.